I have reviewed so many space engineer ships for literal years now and people still do this thing that makes their ship worse for literally no good reason. I'm sick of it. And people who regularly watch my videos are probably sick of it as well. So I will show you the right way to do it. Watch and learn. This is a ship and every block that you put on a ship costs PCU which determines how much you can build on a server or even on single player playthrough and these things are conveyors the game, the tutorial, and probably a lot of people out there will tell you that this is a useful block but make no mistake young pedowan this is the source of all evil in ship building and designs it's insidious and i'll tell you why hey guys so, I made a tutorial for this like so many years ago, but I guess I'll have to make a new one for all the new people, since the old video is probably buried anyway. Alright, so if you're new to ship designs on Space Engineers, you will most likely use a lot of conveyors to, you know, transport things between the interior, I mean between the inventory of your ships, and as you guys can see there, each of these conveyors cost 10 PCU and these things literally do nothing else than transporting things inside your ship's inventory and this thing is a small cargo container which can also, you know, transfer things between your ship's inventories but they can also store things inside them one of the most basic optimization techniques on space engineers is to replace your conveyors with cargo containers because remember these things literally cost the same PCU and by doing this you're basically adding more cargo uh, inventory to your ship for literally no cost at all and you know if you have like cargo containers dedicated on the ship somewhere you can probably just delete those cargo containers now if you have replaced your uh, conveyors with cargo containers which, you know, can save space on your ship as well but that's not all let's say that your ship is a hydrogen ship well, you can replace these conveyors with H2 generators like this for example so this way Rather than having a dedicated room or space for your H2 generators, they can double as your ship's conveyor as well. And well, for example, let's say that you have a nuclear reactor on your ship, well, you can use that to replace the conveyors as well. As you guys can see here, by replacing your conveyors with other functional blocks that have conveyor capability as well, not only that you're saving PCU because you're basically removing all those conveyors but you will also save a lot of space in your ship for example my warship over here this ship probably has like more cargo capacity than most freighters out there because all of the conveyors are you know basically just cargo containers as you guys can see here and H2 generators and you know other functional blocks that have conveyors as well now conveyors especially the reinforced conveyors can be stronger than some functional blocks out there but you know the difference is pretty minuscule and the amount of PCU and space in your ship that you can save by using functional blocks as conveyors definitely outweighs the benefit of using an armor conveyor or a reinforced conveyor for example rather than having functional blocks in their own uh, dedicated space somewhere if you have like conveyors on your ship right now you should see if you can just move those functional components to where conveyors used to be and that way you will save a lot of PCO as well as space on your ship say so, that's literally the most effective ship optimization technique out there and how you can use it to make your ship you know a lot cheaper as well as save some space on space engineers you guys should probably tell this to uh, your friends and stuff that still use conveyors they are evil <laughs>